Hi guys, welcome back to this channel. It's Mates from the Mates Creation. If it is your first time to come across this channel, please consider subscribing. By the way, don't forget to hit that notification bell. It will be the only way that you will be updated or notified when I upload a new video. For the returning subscribers, thank you so much. For the new subscribers, thank you so much for coming back to this channel. By the way, don't forget to give them the thumbs up because it is the only way I'll be motivated to make more videos. Have you ever been or have you ever faced challenges? Most of us think that challenges only come the day we go to first time to go to a boarding school. Uh, the first time we get to a very unique place. Yes, that is true. It also becomes a challenge. It is also a first time. Sometimes it may be fun, sometimes it may be a challenge in any way or the other. In today's video, we are going to look at actually my first time as a security guard in the Gulf. What was my experience? I want to share with you what was my experience. Remember, in this video, it's just going to be in three parts. The first part, we are going to look at the experience coming from the airport and getting to work. Then in the second experience, we shall look at cooking, that is cooking and shopping. Then the third experience is washing clothes for myself and the company transportation. In today's video, I'm just going to let us start with part one for today's video. What is your ever experience you've had the first time? It was really fun. When I even think about it, it was a little bit very challenging, but fun. I later on realized that it was fun in one way or the other. Remember, this was a time that you are super excited. I was so super excited how I get to come in or how uh, I ended up myself uh, coming on uh, getting an idea that I should go out as a security guard. It was just a friend that I don't have to mention right now that told me, man, we have a deal. We can go with this deal. Please, if, you, if you're so ready with this deal, please. I was like, I'm ready because I was super excited. By that time before my mind it came in, I was like, I had a lot of thoughts, I had a lot of dreams, and most of you have what you call dreams and goals. When you grow up, especially when you finish school, you have very many dreams. I want to build my first house, my big mushrooms, before I get my 25 years. I want to buy my first big car, a very big car, uh, maybe Luxus, before I get 30 years. So those are some of the dreams. Like any other person, I also had that. But my dream for my first dream was like, how better can I make my passport move? And how better can I make my passport have very many visas to help me travel to bigger countries? Because that was a requisition. That was one of the requirements for those countries, uh, especially in Europe or anywhere, the countries uh, where they can give you visas. They first have to look at how far you've traveled from other countries. Good enough, I had experience in East Africa. So I got on here. This was my first time to come in Qatar as a security guard. It was quite interesting. The time we got on, on board, on plane, it was super nice. The first time we were enjoying the meal. Remember that flight when you have to enjoy the meal and um, uh, it's given at intervals depending on what kind of flight that you have on that day. It was really interesting. By the time we get to have that meal, I was super, super hungry. And remember, whatever is being given to you, whatever is being served in the airport was like, in the plane was like, I'll eat it, I'll, I'll eat. But when you look at how much is being served in the plane, it is something very small uh, compared to what we, we eat when we are at our place. We eat mountains and mountains of food. So that time they need to give us something. I was super hungry. I was super hungry. And uh, exactly what I did is that I asked as very many times until I got satisfied. Good enough, the hostess in the plane uh, really understood 
uh, me and I was like I told him uh, I was hungry I'd spent two days my dad's eating food which was quite the only the only reason I had to give I had to give them so that they can add me more and more and more the time I ate until I was hungry I was I was really I felt that yes I've eaten you know this is a time now we reach our destination in Doha and uh, we super go out of the plane and everything is like sparkling you know yeah, uh, actually where we're getting off from the plane and where we enter everything was just new for me because i never seen such kind of big airport you know it was so big very nice everything nice so you you kind of imagine how if you were in my shoes and it's your first time to come to the airport uh alone comparing to our airports coming from africa uh, uh you know this is just so sparkless you know Everything sparkles, the lights everywhere, and uh, everything is looking good. You feel like you want to take photos everywhere, 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 you know. But it's probably you're a little bit be very careful and a little bit nervous because you look like it seems like everyone is looking at you, and, uh, and you know you get a little bit shy. And that was the kind of experience I had. So I remember I had my friends I came with, and uh, uh, I would fail to mention them like. Uh, most of them would think I know they are there, they, they, they know their names and they will see the kind of reaction we had. But remember it was a super being tired on the plane and uh, after waiting a long struggle, waiting at the airport from our country, uh, plane time and remember we just only landed, uh, uh, landed a little bit late uh, which was quite a lot like around uh, 3 o'clock in the middle of the night, 3 a.m. So from the airport it was really amazing much as we are really very tired but you definitely see the sparkle and see how lights how the airports look like and uh, like the beauty of it all this is a time where we reach and we like we, we have you know remember we came by company sponsorship and that is a time that we like we we, we, need, we need we need to call the person to pick up us you know we needed to call that number that was given to us by the agent to call the person to pick it up, to pick us up from the app. Remember with all your full luggage that you have, you're super tired. Your eyes are grazing like you have the next wedding day tomorrow. Like you they keep on crashing like you know, you need like you're like you're blind and groom at that time because you are super tired. You know what it is like when you get super tired. So it was just experience that uh, you uh, you you get to have at that time. That time we would call the person that is supposed to come and pick up. The person would be like, I'm coming. Give me five minutes, three minutes. I was like, yeah, this guy is coming in three minutes. We waited for three minutes. I I, I, I dream, what really did I not understand that when it comes to Arab country, three minutes is one hour. So I was like, this guy said three minutes. That I was always just whispering to my friend. Remember, I said, Johnny, this guy said three minutes, but it's almost one hour. I was like, maybe it's not. We tried to call him back again. The guy was like, three minutes, five minutes, I'll come. So just imagine standing at the airport and you're like, you're inside the airport. But just this kind of crazy, beautiful things that you need to look at. But that time, that time is the eyes are very tired and the eyes are closed up. And they almost want to close up that time. And I'm like, yes. After three hours and a half, the person came to pick us up. You know, super tired. You know, I was like, wow, this was the start of life. It was the start of the, the experience that we even ever thought about, you know, that it's even better the boarding school that we had at that time when your parent does not want to pick up in time and you left alone at school. And that was what? Big, good enough, this is an airport that there are people coming in, people going, you still gaze up and look at people. These are what we see, people of different nationalities. And we like, we see very many people turn us coming in, arriving, and uh, people departing. And I was like, yes. This is the time now, the person comes for us who was supposed to pick us at the airport. He takes us to the car and with our luggage, we move. Remember, as you are coming, some of the recruiting agents, they will promise you and they will tell you all sorts of things. Where, where you're going, you have the gym, you will be, you'll, you'll be putting on your casual wear every weekend, you'll be going out, a company will take you out, you know. 
those are all things, marketing strategies that they normally give at a time or they normally give to people or what we say at given time. So I was like, yes, you kind of imagine what you carried. It was even that kg that they give you. Moreover, you're coming into the country that you don't know at that time. So we are picked up and I was like, we are taken inside the car, we went. Uh, uh, driving us through the roads, we look at uh, uh, sky. We look at skyscrapers all over town. We, we look at uh, flyers over the time with beautiful lights. So definitely, even if the small time that you don't, the small sleep that was with you at that time, when you inside the car scraping over through the windows, then probably you, you definitely know that uh, you definitely have to to peep outside to see how this country looks like, how how this beautiful country like and that is a part of the experience it was also part of the experience at that time so you look peep through out of the window you see skyscrapers you see uh, flyovers and you see buildings sparklings with lights and uh, uh, that's exactly that we, we, we were had and it was an experience it was really fun because you not even think of sleeping until when we reached uh, where we are supposed to sleep at our accommodation. What we found, definitely, that's what maybe next video I'll talk about it. And uh, we given mattresses, we given blankets and a pair of pillow, and we also given bed sheets to to try to lay our beds and. Uh, we get to sleep and this is where really life starts from and because remember that time you don't have a single bed for yourself right for those that think you'll have uh, a six by six master bed for yourself you'll have a self-contained room for yourself where you sleep like a queen no it is another boarding school that you go to but remember this is a boarding school where you are looking for your future or you're looking for to meet up your goals or to complete your goals that you already thought about in life. We slept and take off, you know. You know, imagine kind of sleeping up like for three hours. Wow. Guess what happened? Please don't forget to subscribe. Please support. Subscribe to this channel. This makes from the next creation. Uh, gives up the thumbs up if you think this video is very important. Gives up a thumbs up. It will be the only way I'll be motivated to make more videos. So we go to part two. You know, sleeping for three hours. It's already morning. I check my over my clock. This is the time that the campus of that accommodation has to call you. Whoa, Max, Malton, John, three guys as we can. Abdo, wake up. Zerim. Guys, have you heard that? That is how I whisper. Guys, have you heard that? They say we wake up. It's time to go for duty. I was like, really? I tried to check my clock. Oh, it's, it's 5.30 a.m. in the morning. But the sun is super out. Man, I was like, what the hell is this? 5.30 in your country. You are still sleeping and you are even still dreaming. Dreaming driving your Porsche car. Dreaming uh, maybe driving your Matatu or like dreaming on a party, uh, dance of yourself. But that time you have to wake up, it's already 5.30. That's how the time zones are very different. As like, we have to wake up. So we wake up, we give a uniform and that time we are taking to duty. That is where the life story begins also. Fun, challenging, so sad. Happiness, lesson to learn out of that. So what happened next? In number two, we went to work. We went to our duty location. Entered the campus, uh, company transport, we are drove there to a location. And I was so funny enough that I cannot forget to remember in my life that this is where I was given a place where you needed to control traffic, right? This was a junction building and the area that I was given to work, it was, I was not supposed to allow anyone to park in that area. Just kind of imagine my cylinder body uh, and how I look, I'm not so, so big, I'm, medium not very small not very fat and so like i had to stop people to park because that was the instruction 
Because remember, in security, you, you always have to, fo to, 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 to follow instructions. And I was following the instructions of my supervisor, or the person who was in charge of that place at that time. Remember, I was briefing us, he told us, do not allow even a single minute. I was like, yes. Remember, you come with that big, that big energy to work and, you know, like, you're from Africa, you know, the security in Africa where you have to use force. You know, if the person refuses, what do you do? You either uh, uh, try to shout at that person, you try to back at that person, or you can even inflate the tire. Uh, you know, you can even tell this person, please, I'll flex with you if because you're not allowed to park here. You know, that was the situation. You know, those moods that you have. So this time I was put where there was a lot of traffic. This is still a parking area. There is no parking. It is an entrance to the shop. They are not supposed to park in that area. Supposed to take around a round turn to go inside and park. But you know, some of them would not listen. So I was like, what a hell is this? The start of the game starts. It's now work time. That is what came in my mind. It is work time. But remember, I'm only one day or oh, few hours away. Few hours. And I was like, this is the start of the work. It was really fun. It was really challenging, but fun at one moment of time. So I get to fight with people, not park, like you put corn, someone will want to knock your corn and you have to go back to explain to the person, please, you're not allowed to park here, uh, you're not allowed to park and you're not allowed to park here, please go inside. You politely start to talk to big people like you're talking to babies. You're trying to advise them. You try to tell them politely. But some of them, of course, definitely, some of them you will get pissed with them and I was like, I'm tired. Remember, this is a time when we came, it was a scorching sun. It was summer. It was what we call summertime. The sun is so bright, very, very heated. You're standing, you need to have a bottle of, your, of water for yourself. So what surprised me, what I cannot fail to remember, I fought and fought. Whatever you convince, those that will not allow, I'll immediately want to call the supervisor. There's even one time I went, I was like shouting, I'm going to tell my supervisor for you. He's going to come for you. And one person told me, who is your supervisor? You know, I was like, my supervisor. Yes, I'll call my supervisor. My supervisor. He said, actually, what the gentleman replied to me, he said, supervisor, tell him to read that number only. My number plate. And this number plate had three digits. I was like, what does he say? I read his number. So I went to check his number plate. It is three digit number plate. I was like, ah, this must be big. So when I called my supervisor, my supervisor was like, no, no, that one just leave him. I was like, why? But you told me the instruction was like, you told me I should not let anyone park here. But why is he parking? That means even other people are going to park. He told me, calm down. Don't shout at me. I'll give you violation. I was like, okay. I can go. So I got disappointed also. So I sat aside, you know, I sat aside, the scorching sun, not eaten food, remember we woke up in the morning, we did not prepare anything. All sweating all over and like, there's one lady still came driving. It was a Porsche car and I was like, wow. I looked at the car all gazing, gazing at the car, it was so beautiful. I was like, I told, Mom, you're not supposed to park here. Please, Mom, go inside. I said, what? I was like, Mom, you're not supposed to park here. He said, what? Me, me, I park here. Me, I'll park here. Me, my parking here. Me, no go inside. Me, I go here, I go. I was like, that was the start of the journey now. That is something that came in my mind. Is like, you need to be understanding how to speak another language apart from your language is quite very important for communication purposes even if when you have the basics it is very important she refused she felt as like mom you're not going to open this door you're not going to go out you will not go out you will not park anywhere please please take your car take your car oh i'm going to remove tire i'm going to remove i'm going to 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 get pressure out of your car so like, you dare touch my car touch my car i call police I was like, mom, you know, my supervisor, my supervisor. You know, those kind of staggering of words that you have to say. 
the first time of the experience, I was like, later on the lady was like, you, Aya, are there Moya? Moya. I was like, Moya? I was like, what is Moya? You, Udo, me, oh, Moya? I was like, Ma, me no understand. Me, I don't understand what you say. But my supervisor say, you go park inside. You're not supposed to park here because people go here. Say, security, security. You more, more, more. You like, I didn't know what exactly she was talking about. So we're like, she removed a bottle of water and she gave me water. So remember that time, I'd not taken any water and I was like, I was looking for water. Remember, you have to buy for your, you have to buy your own water. I, I didn't pack all that because I knew everything will be provided to me as I go to the my duty location and I was waiting for that time. My supervisor would give me the food, would bring for me the water, but all in vain. So she gave me a bottle of water. You know, since that time I was very thirsty. I was like, I, I said, thank you, mom. You know, she laughed at me. I smiled because I didn't know what exactly it meant at that time. But after some time, I just realized maybe when she talked about Moya, maybe Moya in Arabic, it means water, and that's what she gave me. She was like so concerned, I was like, she said, do you need water? But since I did not understand the language, it was like, I, I, took, I took it and I was like, I took the water. So it was all the fight, it was the fight that I can say, and uh, Adapting to situations all is kind of very important and adapting to environment wherever you go. So it was all a fight until I had to fight until the whole, the end of the day. Uh, and remember, it's 12 of hours duty that we had to work with no food at a time, with only taking water because we're not prepared. We didn't know that you are supposed to carry your food uh, uh, as you move to your duty. But by the way, in the Gulf countries, you need to carry your food. It's mandatory. You pack your food and you carry your food wherever you have to go. So they, they ended it successfully, but you know, with all sweating, with all fatigue, with all hunger, uh, with being hungry and you've not eaten anything, you're very tired and the day closed up. And that was my first day experience. So it was really very experience, very fun. You see how you're fighting with people and how you, you try to threaten, but they kind of show you that this the country is their country and you cannot do anything. So sometimes it was like, how you should talk to people and how you can talk to people. If it goes off out of your hand, you better inform what you call the response people. So it ended up the day. I learned a lot of experience. I don't uh, think a lot of things came in my mind. I was like, at least I had the first lesson of my life and uh, my first day working as a security guard in Qatar. Or, uh, my first time when I came to work as a security guard for my first two years contract, it was definitely uh, fun of it all at that time. And that's what I had from the airport until the first day I had the work. Hope you've tried to enjoy something, hope you've tried to learn something. Thank you so much. Tune in in the next video as we, I try to talk about my experience and see what happens, what was this the, the second phase of my experience. Don't remember? to subscribe to this channel don't remember don't forget to subscribe and support this channel hit up the, the, the notification bell and also be reminded that uh, whenever I upload a new video gives up a thumbs up it's only anyway and be motivated to make a new videos uh, thank you so much snakes from the next creation TV see you in the next part as we try to see what happened when it came to uh, cooking and shopping